is Robert. Welcome to GuitarControl.com. We are going to be rocking on through We're an American Band by Grand Funk Railroad. So this is a great, great song. Has, um, you know, a total, like, essence of what the 70s was as far as, like, rock guitar. A uh, real nice little power chord riff. A uh, cool little twin guitar solo part. And uh, just, a, just a good solo. Overall, just a good song. So it kind of has a little bit of everything in it. Now, if you'd like to capture this one, those are down below in the description. And we're going to go ahead and get started on this. And... Okay, so let's dive on in. So the first part is that little opening solo, which goes like this. So the song, that, the kit that solo is using uh, our D minor pentatonic. Now we're kind of using box four right now, which would go like this. It'd be five to eight on the low E, five to eight on the A, five to seven on the D, five to seven on the G. You're gonna go um, six to eight on the B, and then five to eight on the high E. Kind of where these opening notes are coming from. So basically it starts out by going 5 hammer on to 7 on the G. Let's see how many times I pick it. Then you're going to go... So it's 5 hammer on 7 and you pick the 7 2 more times. And you're going to go 7 slide up to 9 on the G. Then 8. Then you're going to go... Slide down to 7, so... Then you go to 5 on the G, then you're going to go 7, slide back up to 9 again. Back to the 8. Back down 7. So we have... Okay, then after you do that 7, you're back to 5. Then you're on 7 on the G. Then you go back to that 5. And this time it goes... Um, just like a straight 5-7, five, 5-7, seven, five, seven, five, seven. So. I think that's a really cool little... The little ending run is... Um, uh, was a 7 pull off 5, then 7 on the D, then 5 hammer on 7 on the G. Then you're going to go to 6 on the B. Then you're going to go 7, 5, 7 on the G. So. And that's that opening solo. Okay, so now we're into the first main riff, which is that verse riff, which goes like this. So it's just simply a D5 power chord. So I'm just going down 5 on the um, A and 7 on the D. So it's like 1, 2, 3. Then you can do this little fill, which is just three hammer on five on the low E and three hammer on five on the A. Then it's going to be third fret on the A and then fifth fret on the E, so this is a C5. Still a group of three, but it's one, two, three, where the other one is. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then it goes. Then you go back up to the D5. Come all the way up here to 8th fret and 10th, 7th, 3rd. And that's that verse riff. So the next part is this real choppy part that's just a G major chord. So you just bar the 3rd fret with your index finger. Your ring finger goes to 5 on the A, pinky goes to 5 on the D, and your middle finger goes to 4 on the G. And so you go, now when you play that, you notice I pick my fingers up because I'm choking the chord, so I don't want to go. You know that real kind of like choppy sound. You go to a D major, which is starting on the A, B5, 7, 7, 7. Then you go on the third fret, so this is a C major. G, back to D, 
here it changes. That same shape that we just did with the G, we're gonna go back to first fret. Now this is F major. So it goes F, up to G. Leads us right into that chorus, which is what I just played. So all that chorus is, is just that D5, five down to C5, just moving down two frets, third and fifth. Go down to that B flat, back up to C, back to D. There's that one, and then it goes into the solo. It goes. And what that is, it goes. It's a twin guitar, but we're just gonna do it with the main harmony. So it's seven hammer on eight on the B twice. And you go 7, 8, 7, and 7 on the G, and 7 on the D. So. Then you're going to go 5 on the G to 4. So it goes 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4. So. Then it goes 5, 4, 5, 6, 7. So. A little chromatic section. Now this is the typical kind of blues lick. You're bending 12 on the G. This is all out of box one of D minor. So you bend 12, and you go 10 on the B in height, and bend 13 on the B. And you have this lick here. Which is just uh, 13 pull off 10 on the height, then 13 on the B, and then 10 on the height. And you repeat it. And you're going to bend 13 on the B up a full step. So you bend that 13 on the B up and you kind of keep picking. And you do it while it's unbent. Bend it again. That's 10 on the B, 12 on the G, 10 on the G, 12 on the D. back into the chorus. So real slow, the whole solo would go like this. So if you enjoyed this lesson, you should definitely head on over and check out our Ultimate Song Collection. It has over 150 songs in it, broken down into you know, all the little areas of what's happening in the song. You've got chord charts, tablature, you know, like I said, a very clear breakdown. Uh, just everything strumming. I mean, like I said, you know, it literally, is it a down strum? Is it an up strum? Kind of has everything going on over there. You can go check that out. It is a nice DVD set that I think you would love if you liked this lesson. And you can get it by just clicking on the screen. Or, it's the second link down below in the description, you have your iCard. That way, it's kind of like if you're on your phone, you've got a link, you've got the card. you got it all kind of going on. So, definitely go over and check that out, and we'll see you next time.